Hello YouTube, this is Julian from Luminetic.com. Today I want to make another video about the Nikon D750. I made an unboxing video yesterday, whoop, here. And today I want to show, share some impressions I have of the camera with you, some first impressions. And to say it up front, I did not have time to test the camera thoroughly to make many pictures with it. That's due to the fact that I have a daytime job and the only time of the day when I can do something for the blog and make videos like this one is in the evening. So I just have yesterday evening, which was for the unboxing video, and today for the first impressions. What I want to share with you are the first things which came to my mind when I had the camera in my hands. First thing is, it's very light. The body is made of magnesium alloy on the top and the back and the front is made of a polymer compound reinforced with carbon fibers. This adds up to a weight of only 750 grams which is very light for a DSLR full frame body. For example, there goes my light. For example, the D610 has 750, 850 grams and the D800 has 1000 grams a kilogram. So this is 250 grams lighter than the D800. The body is also very slim. This you will notice when you take it first time. And your fingers have quite a lot of area here to wrap around the grip, which gives a nice feeling to the camera. And second thing I noticed, or the, let's say the third thing, is a uh, minute change here, the button where you can change the autofocus mode, hold this down and rotate. The wheel to change the autofocus mode has a little texture on it so that you can find it more easily. Well, I never had problems finding this switch even uh, without looking at it, but anyways. The LCD screen at the top is much smaller than at other Nikon cameras. This means that fewer information can be displayed and some information have been moved to the LCD screen on the back, which is for example the shooting mode or the, the file format you are shooting at the moment, which can be RAW or JPEG, JPEG RAW. And uh, this one has been moved to here. So this is something I will have to get used to because usually I use the screen here at the top and now I have to look at the back. It's just a habit, I have to change a little bit, but I think one will get used to it quite quickly. You can access this info screen by pressing the, hmm, who would have thought that, info button here at the back and then all the settings of the camera are being displayed. The tilting screen is also a thing which is new for a Nikon full frame camera. It can be extended like this and then you can tilt it either, either upwards if you're shooting macro and you go really low then you can still see the image in the viewfinder in the oh my god I'm always saying viewfinder, the live view mode and if you tilt it downwards, goes also 90 degrees downwards, then you can hold the camera above your head. If you're shooting in a crowd, for example, you want to shoot the stage, you can still, still see the image on the live view, not viewfinder. Another thing I noticed is that the color of the numbers you see in the viewfinder, I can't show you this in the video, but as you know, when you're looking through here, you see the aperture, ISO rating. The font is usually green. Now it has got a whitish, beige-ish color. And this is also my new change, but again, something which I noticed. That's about it for the camera. If you like the video, please share, please subscribe to my blog. Thank you for watching this video and see you soon again. Bye!